the podcast is setting up. All these artists are getting ready. And what is she doing? Oh, Harry, Harry Potter. Potter, of course. I'm at a library. I'm going to play Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming to Library Con today. This is the most popular event from last year, the Artist Draw-Up Competition, yeah. where the award is eternal fame glory, right? We're happy to have our esteemed artists here today, and um, our MCs for the day are going to be the amazing Colin Bunn, yeah. Bunn yeah. and Josh Roberts. Oh. <laughs> Over to our lead MC, Colin. Hello, everyone. Oh, I've got this. Yes. Oh, go ahead and say it. What's your? I had one. I had one job. Okay. Um, you should have a raffle ticket. Does everybody have a raffle ticket? If you do not have a raffle ticket, please raise your hand, and we will get you a raffle ticket right up here, Mr. Keep your hands up. I don't think I can. I think we need a raffle ticket back there. You get a raffle ticket. Of course you do. Oh, okay. Cindy Vaughn gets a raffle ticket. <laughs> Harry Potter up front. <laughs> Harry Potter. Oh, Harry, okay. So as, as the artists are drawing today, keep an eye on which drawing you think might be your favorite. Artists, you get to keep any of your drawings that you want to keep today. But the ones that you want to give to Library Con, some lucky winner is going to walk away with a drawing of yours today. Can we keep, can we keep other artists' drawings? <laughs> <laughs> they, they all belong to me, actually. <laughs> I'll share. We will be drawing winning raffle ticket numbers, and we will write them down on a sheet of paper that will be posted by where each artist is standing. So then at the end of the show, you can look at your raffle ticket number and match it up to which to whichever sign is by that poster. And if you need help, please just ask us. We'll help you out here today, okay? Is everybody having a good time? Woo! Okay. Thank you, Colin. Thanks for the interruption. Uh, that's an introduction. Oh, that's, okay. that's what I meant. So hello, everyone. My name is Colin Bunn. I am a comic book writer and world-renowned art expert. <laughs> and uh, they have asked me to, once again, challenge these amazing artists to just wow us. So we accept nothing but perfection for all of them. Wow, um, as we, uh, so I'm going to put these artists through a number of challenges. They're going to have about five minutes to draw something based on these topics we give them. Um, and then I will be assigning points randomly behind the podium here. No one will see. And as we do, we'll talk to them a little bit, see what, you know, get their thoughts on, on art and, and various things. So let's do a quick introduction around the room so we know who we're, who we're rooting for. Yeah, yeah. We have to know our table numbers. All right. Okay. Say, I don't, I don't know. If, if you know your table number. What, what's my table number? It's 36. My table number is 36. Uh, I'm Maya Cooper. I'm the artist for Champion Comics. I draw art and comics. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Luna Cooper. I'm also an artist at Champion Comics, also at table 36. Kyle Strong. I'm at table 29. I'm an artist and writer. I'm Adam McLaughlin, uh, artist uh, for table 25. There you go. We're there. We're over that way. <laughs> I'm Gary Bedell. I'm a professional illustrator and I'm at pay, uh, page. See, I've been comments too long. Table 24. <laughs> I'm a comic illustrator, and I don't know my table number, but I know I'm between him, 23, yeah. him, and him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just so we all know, Javier big time me on a project recently, so he's got to work really hard to win this one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my name is Baldemar Rivas. Uh, I'm an artist. Table 27. <laughs> Table 21. I'm a cartoonist. I write and draw Age of Bronze for Image Comics. I'm Buster Booty. Um, I draw comics also. I'm at table 45. I'm Lassie. I'm at table 30, and I, I'm working on a comic called Starbeast. Chris 
Grind. I am artist and writer. Table 20, what, seven? At least 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I have no artistic ability. <laughs> all right, first challenge, I'm going to start out very easy for all of you. I don't think you get into this line of work without being a child at heart. And I would like all of you to think back to your favorite toy that you had. And I would like you to draw your interpretation of that toy Starting now. What are you thinking, Chris? Okay. You had no childhood? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. So what about, all right, so as we're doing this, we'll have questions from the audience or we can have, for the artists, please. So if anybody have a question for any of our artists, raise your hand. I'm just going to harass people. All right. I That's what I like. Question. Oh, we have a question. What's going on? Oh, just drawing. Did you scare David Frizzell off? That looks like a challenge this year. I kind of think we scared David off. <laughs> this is a lot like Survivor. That's One artist does not return. It gets voted out. Another try. What are you drawing there, Buster? Cool. What we got going on here? What are we looking at here? What are we looking at here? My brother and I used to do Tomas and Zema. We would draw, or my mom would drive her nuts, because then we'd draw the scar on her face, and then she'd reach in her purse, and it would smell like certs in the famous bar, like perfume counter, just trying to wipe it off. So who's Tomas and Zema? Well, what do you mean? Who's drawing? Oh, well, I don't know who I'm not drawing Tomax and Zayma. I'm Zayma, because that's the one that I always play. But as twins, we had to have Tomax and Zayma. Yes, you did. Hey, they weren't born when G.I. Joe came out, so. They're drawing. Okay, so that's cool. What about you guys out here? Anybody want to admit to what their favorite toy was? Anyone want to raise their hand and tell us about their favorite toy? This gentleman right here. Transformers. Transformers. Yeah. Everybody loves Transformers. What are Transformers? <laughs> Did you did you see Transformers the movie yeah. in the theater? Oh yeah. Did it make you the first, the original animated one? Yeah. It made me cry. Like, in the ugly cry. I, ugly cry. Ugly. ugly. <laughs> and I kept singing, "You got the touch." Sam. You got the touch. You got the power. Adam is. Yeah. Is this a Ghostbusters toy? I think I, I think Colin and I we could probably recreate the Optimus Prime and Megatron scene. Really Who's Megatron? Who's up? That's right. You, that's your show. I'll tell you, if you haven't watched that movie, it's it's when Optimus Prime comes rolling through and those rockets fire off on his side and he leaps through the air, he's blowing those insecticons. Hand cannon. Oh, it's so good. I got chills just thinking Way about it. Way to spoil it for me. Childhood Crusher, too. <laughs> Plus, it was a great commercial for all the new Transformers that were coming out. That's right. Any other favorite toys? John? Oh, yeah, nice. yeah, definitely. So, how much time do these guys have? Like Somebody running a five minutes. Or... They have two minutes left. You're at your two minute warning. I like that Javier's favorite tour was a car he wrecked when he was a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go there and get a whoa. Is that Battle Cat? Yeah. It is Battle Cat. That's I like that Chris is trolling a uh, round of applause for He Man. Who was He Man? Yeah. Yeah. Chris, does that Kermit have a missing leg? This is a Ghostbuster <laughs> toy. <laughs> oh, I, had, I had that toy with the, the Ghostbuster cop. That was awesome. <laughs> I had a pretty awesome Inspector Gadget toy. Oh, I remember that toy. It was pretty great. I'm drawing Pizza Face from the Ninja Turtle. Nice. Right on. Nice. Oh, interesting, Adam. I see that you also want to be a writer. <laughs> Doesn't that make him a wardist? <laughs> Mine was a Silverhawks jet. Oh, Silver Silverhawks? Yes. What? <laughs> stretch Armstrong. Stretch Armstrong, right on. Did anybody break their stretch? Keys in the back. Come on, action jets. Come on. <laughs> nice. Nice. I heard he was full of action. I like Brave Star also. That was really cool back in the day. Brave Star is awesome. I like those 
those Ghostbusters where you squeeze them and their mouth like screams all the time? Yes. <laughs> I, that's what he's doing over here. Yeah. I think it's you interesting can't see that no kids just mention a favorite toy. It's all the adults. Because <laughs> kids are like, what? We have favorite toys? <laughs> I mean, granted, let's go. We got one right here. Lego. Lego. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah Lego's all you gotta do, like, You have to borrow from your 401k to like buy Legos. <laughs> <laughs> Micronauts? Yeah, yeah. Micronauts. Mask? Oh, I love masks. Are you talking about Micronauts when the missiles did shoot or didn't shoot? <laughs> yeah, I remember those days. All right, folks. Time. Time. So we're going to talk a little bit. Uh, show you when, as they tell us about their art. Let's give them some applause, and then I will I will calculate their points. So let's start over here with Chris. All right, this is some therapy for me. <laughs> One of my favorite toys growing up was, uh, I was really into Muppets, so I had a Kermit the Frog doll, and my dog just got a hold of it, and just shredded it one morning, and my mom, this before I was going to school, so I was really upset, I'll never remember, never forget this, she said, don't worry, I will fix this, and will be ready when you get home. When I got home, she had sewed up the nubs. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that, Chris. Do you need a moment? I think Chris needs a hug. <laughs> Alright, so what do we think of Chris's delightful yeah. mother? Uh, so this here is uh, Sleepy Bunny is the name. Uh, Santa brought this to me one year. And went through a lot of ear pulling off like that, but my mom actually sewed them back on all this. <laughs> but interesting story, um, he didn't have a tail, but recently I dug him out of a box and I fixed a bunch of stuff on him and I gave him a new tail. Aww. But my favorite thing about this guy is he has bunny slippers and he is a bunny. <laughs> Are those bunny slippers made from real bunny? <laughs> um, I drew just a terrible like Robocop knockoff toy. That's, that's how, it wasn't even like up to rubber. It was a Robo Patrol. Yeah, if you guys want to like rubber, it wasn't even like as good as that. So, uh, yeah. So like we had a we had like a little balcony that we dropped it off of because we like to drop our toys off of balconies to see if they would survive. Oh, uh, our Robocop did not. So. I gotta admit, I thought you were drawing a turtle. <laughs> Real fast, artist, if you could sign your work when you're done. Everyone loves a signature. Oh, we didn't clap for. Uh... I need I need the applause to judge who's going to win this thing. Uh, this is Lammy Pie. I was very young when I had this toy. I guess I carried it with me everywhere and kind of wore it out. I don't even really remember what it looked like. I was, that's how young I was when I had this toy. Anyway, that's it. Like, this is like really embarrassing because you're like making me dredge up these things from me. Very young, vulnerable that's child. That's what art's about, man. It's art. Uh, let's give it up for Lenny Pie. Uh, my first toy I actually remember was a Power Rangers toy, and I just realized I can't really draw Power Rangers. <laughs> was it the White Ranger? Yeah, the White Ranger. <laughs> Shoulder pads are all the way Alright, let's give it up for White Ranger. I was born before all those toys came into existence. <laughs> but I do remember a car I had that uh, I loved when I was a kid. And go figure, what I loved about it the most was it was a battery wrapper and toys and the tires blew. Oh, and that's all I ever remember. That was my inspiration for Ghost Rider. When I did it. <laughs> This, uh, for those who don't know, is Battle Cat from Masters of the Universe. Uh, when I got my Battle Cat, he came with, uh, uh, not had Prince Adam, but he came with a He-Man in a box. And I remember when I got him, my mom had just landed this job. And because we weren't sure like if 
we were gonna have Christmas this year. This is the, the last thing she bought me when she came home and got her check. So like I always will remember Battle Cat. So. Aww. Just so we're clear, everyone, touching stories do not. <laughs> <laughs> Cullen has no feelings. <laughs> Minister of pain. <laughs> Cullen, ice cold bug. <laughs> yes, uh, real quick, Ghostbusters was my favorite thing ever growing up. We got hooked on the cartoon and then found out there was a live action movie and it wore out the VHS. So this is one of the toys. It was like a police officer and he pulled his hands down his face and elongated. I remember burying it in the back. Backyard. <laughs> so this is Pizza Face. He's a Ninja Turtles toy that I liked a lot. He's pretty gross. Uh, I dug him out a couple of years ago and put him in my studio, and I realized, looking at him as an adult, that there's evidence that he's cut off his fingers and limbs, and the pizzas have them in them. Oh. <laughs> Uh, it's not it's not <laughs> I'm also on the G.I. Joe train, I guess. So I drew Scarlet, but uh, this one's got hair, and all the toys that we had didn't have hair. She had a ponytail and it would fall off. Nah. <laughs> Give it up for Scarlet. I remember whenever, it was like my sixth or seventh birthday, maybe. I was at my grandparents' house. Uh, and it was, you know, both of our birthdays. We were twins until we got from Max and Zayma, the twins, of course. And we threw them up on the roof and they got stuck. And so my had to, dad had to go up, buy me uh, some more, another pack of Tomax and Zayma. And I think something happened to those two. So I think we got a third pack. And I don't know what happened to that. We might still have them. <laughs> right. So all of you just amazing, great round of applause for these uh, great. Up for it now? Yeah. Yeah, so let's uh, make sure everybody has enough paper that we're not bleeding through the walls. Okay. Uh, to, to dive into your childhood. Oh, oh, so I want you to think, you know, when I was a kid, one of the things I loved about commercials uh, were cereal commercials because all cereal had a wonderful mascot, right? <laughs> you know, like Lucky Charms had the, the leprechaun and Tricks had the rabbit. But there were cereal. Of, yeah, there are tons, tons of uh, tons of great cereal mascots, and I would like you to draw a cereal mascot, your favorite. However, they are no longer a cereal mascot; they are a cereal killer. <laughs> oh, nice. And your challenge begins now. Wow. <laughs> okay, like right off the bat, I think monster cereal. That's like yeah. every Halloween. <laughs> Be careful, Count blueberry. Blueberry. Frank Frank blueberry. Does anybody have a question from one of our artists? Oh, we have one right here. Yeah, all artists. What was your favorite cereal to eat watching Saturday morning cartoons? Peanut butter we got, healthy, we got healthy kids over here. They're doing yogurt and granola. Adam, did you, have, did you have a favorite cereal to eat watching cartoons? It would have been the Lucky Charms. Chris, did, did you eat Snap Crackle Pop? Did you eat Rice Krispies with or without sugar on it? Without. What? Gary Bedell, what you been Yeah, I like the s'more cereal, but when they discontinued it, I went to Golden Grams. Oh, yeah. That's good. <laughs> yes. How's it going? Mr. Saltire, do you have a favorite? Yeah. Peanut butter crunch. Peanut butter. Okay, there's yeah. crunch, crunch berries, peanut butter crunch. Oops, all right. That was destroy like the roof of my mouth late after crunch. <laughs> So, Gary, tell us a little bit about what you're thinking here. What, um, what's your process? This is Diggums the Frog. Somebody gets smacked. 
Mr. Moon, I'm thinking this might be the Toucan Sam. Yeah, yeah it's Toucan Sam. Nice. At first I was like, Skeksy? No, we're doing Fruit Loops. I love it. I like the, the headband. <laughs> the headband's kind of cool. Eric, tell us a little bit about your thought process with this challenge, because I think I, did, I really designed it just for you. Well, uh, I can do Toucan Sam, but everybody else is right around. So I'm a... This is not practical. Here's what we got going here. I also like that you low-key called everybody out for picking Toucan Sam. <laughs> <laughs> like punks. <laughs> I got the tricks rabbit and he's tired of the kids playing tricks on him. You have two minutes, a little less than two minutes. Silly kids. Cheers. What's, what's going on over here? Well, I think I used to eat uh, Winning Art Cheerios. They're what? Are healthy? Supposedly. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a very menacing bee. I don't know what you look like. <laughs> that works. <laughs> this is kind of fun. What do we got going on here? Uh, well, I, my favorite is life cereal, and there's not really a mascot, so I drew Mikey. He likes it. Mikey likes it. Mikey likes, likes life and yeah. your blood. <laughs> no, Mikey doesn't like life at all. He wants you. Okay, blood. so what are, we, what are we doing over here? What? Who, which mascot is this? I'm hiding the fact that I don't know what Tony the Tiger looks like because I didn't eat cereal. <laughs> ah! So this is this is uh, going way off the rails here. I'm going to try to fit his slogan in somewhere. <laughs> Perfect. You guys have less than a minute. And I would like to say that all of you are very demented in something. <laughs> this is kind of like a case study. It's it is. is. It is. It is. Gary, you Make sure you sign up, artists, please. These are very genius. <laughs> All right, everybody, that is time. All right, let's, let's go through these real quick. We'll start, let's start up on this side. Yeah. All right. I barely had time to fit in a little bit. I was tending on spending more time on the lettering, but five minutes is not a very long time. It says you'll taste great. <laughs> <laughs> Those are all things in your trunk. It's so, yeah. <laughs> it's so, so they can snap, crackle, and pop your bones. <laughs> Because you know he's digging, but he's gonna dig a hole and bury Tony the Tiger. <laughs> oh, you like the slobber in his mouth? That—that's his passion, right there. Makes him ready to dig that hole. Man.
supposed to be Cocoa Puffs, uh, uh -huh. but yeah. it does look like a toucan. I <laughs> 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 Rob Bird, man. He's drinking an eye. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he became Coco for something else. <laughs> This is Snap, Crackle, and Pop doing what they do best to each other. <laughs> uh, two can Sam, uh, two blade Sam, maybe. <laughs> Mikey was a serial killer. He probably just used stuff around the kitchen because that's the only place you ever saw him eating live. So he's got a classic knife and a spoon. All right, and the essence of transparency. I love this one because I think this one just emulates what they all feel about the children eating their cereal. It's got a little dark, and I'm sorry. <laughs> are awesome. We'll reset. Fantastic. Yes, yeah, sign your work, please. I did it, God! Since, <laughs> since someone complained about the amount of time that they are given, the audience and I said, let's pick a couple of phrases or a couple of things you'd like to see drawn. Last year, for instance, I remember it was someone said they wanted to draw furries, and then someone said they wanted to draw a cult leader or a cultist. So, so they, or a cannibal, something. But we're going to do that here. So, anyone have suggestions? Raise your hand if you would like some these these folks to draw something. If you have an idea of what you'd like them to draw, this gentleman in the back here, yeah. blue shirt. Yeah. Um, Monsters that have calmed down in their old age. Old monsters. That's the wait. We get one more. Who else has something? I Yellow shirt. Oh, here we go. A character from Stranger Things. <laughs> All right, folks. <laughs> Yes, you have three minutes to draw a monster that has calmed down the old in their old age in the universe of Stranger Things. I feel like I should give you more than three minutes, but uh, too bad. This is, I know you can all do it. I have faith in you. Yes. Oh, okay. You're going to have to guess. <laughs> um... Yeah, I would just guess because some of them aren't going to know either, so you're okay. And go. Some of them are already drawing. <laughs> so has everyone, has anyone else not seen Stranger Things among our artists? Oh, what you got? Oh, someone's playing some Stranger Things music. Who's doing that? <laughs> it's spooky. Oh, it's Kevin. <laughs> Still spooky. That's the saddest drawing. <laughs> that's a demogorgon that's let himself he go. He just let himself go. <laughs> <laughs> demogorgon. Oh, what do we have on here? Robo Patrolman. <laughs> I have be spoilers here. I haven't seen the third season of Stranger Things. Uh, you guys also do not draw a spoiler for me. <laughs> oh yeah, no one's going to spoil. Don't spoil the third season for me. Oh, With your drawing. Bust uh, what we got. <laughs> oh, we just got the Demogorgon kind of sitting on the front of the chairs. It's going to be on the front of the Nice. <laughs> Our oh lightest Frankenstein look like Ronald Reagan. 
<laughs> Tear down that wall. You have 50 seconds. 50 seconds. Okay, we're done. Like what, what, kind of, what we got going on here, Game of Dale? This is Will's mom. Mm. I just try to bring it to Who's Will? Will, raise your hand. I apologize for Gary insulting your mom. <laughs> How's that three minutes feeling over here? <laughs> How's the three minutes? Are, Terrible. Are you, are you sure this is a Roy Rogers and Chewbacca? So Adam, who we got the upside down here? <laughs> the creature from the Black Lagoon is just chilling. Alright, you have ten seconds. I love how all these retired monsters are just fat and lazy. <laughs> just, just give up. <laughs> I feel like I'm being attacked. <laughs> All right, that's it. Time, folks. Oh, I'm blown away by this one. So <laughs> this <is> so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I really don't know that needs I an think, explanation. <laughs> I think I truly believe that Chris thrives under pressure here. I want to ride. Five minutes is too long. Yeah, Javier's claimed the tiny whiny. <laughs> I think we're going to three minutes for all the future rounds, folks. All right, but Chris, uh, it's. It's it's the breathtaking. Yeah. Thank you. I love it. I'm glad you do. You might keep that one. All right, let's keep it. Well, I was just thinking that if Hopper would chill with any monster, it'd probably be Sasquatch. Just yeah. have a coffee in the morning. Right. <laughs> I just have a Demi Gorgon in its old age hanging out on the back in the front porch. I love the lazy how they're just chilling down yeah. with their face. They're just. Throws them all the way. Yeah. Uh, just monster um, in his bathrobe on his front porch with the mimosa and a little bird. <laughs> uh, I drew a Bigfoot trying to eat a waffle. <laughs> Thank you. I was trying to do practicing running away from I forgot the big creature's name. I just had it. No, not the Demi Gorgon. My player. My player. The player. There you go. But somebody only gave us three minutes. <laughs> this isn't going to help you win. No. <laughs> I did uh, Will's mom as the bride of Frankenstein because even though they're supposed to be calm down in their old age, she's always like, looks like she's freaked out all the time. So I was like, yeah, a, yeah the big eyes and stuff. So yeah, it's Will's mom as bride of Frankenstein. <laughs> so I got the, or the creature from the Black Lagoon just hanging out in the Upside Down, and Elle is just like mesmerized by what's happening here. <laughs> The creature also, he's let himself go. <laughs> he's got the angry uh, sheriff on the television here. I can tell he's Dis angry. Discarded. <laughs> he says, I'm angry. <laughs> he's got discarded uh, water bottles all around because he has a freshwater drinking problem. <laughs> so tell us about it. I didn't remember what it even looked like, and I didn't have time to finish it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have time. <laughs> what do we got going on? Did you have time? Yep. Yep. And then the season three mind flare, but he's he lost all of his teeth. I don't know if he had teeth to begin with, but they're not there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you notice she didn't complain. I've got a favorite sister. <laughs> So I think everybody can agree. So the scoring is very tight, and you can see why, right? This is amazing talent up here. And that's why I can't wait to unleash this next challenge on them.
the apocalypse has occurred. What better time to draw a self-portrait than now? Please draw a self-portrait of yourself during the apocalypse. You have th three minutes. <laughs> I think Eric just gave you a death stare. <laughs> it's like, <really>? <laughs> <laughs> what does the apocalypse look like? It can be whatever apocalypse they choose, uh, you know, what they think is the best possible apocalypse. <laughs> Mine would be certain parts of Branson as the apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, would you look any different in the apocalypse? No, same. <laughs> <laughs> this says a lot about you guys, too. I mean, it's, what? if you're drawing yourself as like a superhero, what's up, this, what's up with this mustache? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, what's up with my mustache? <laughs> We've never yeah. noticed that. Turn around. Yeah, but it doesn't, it doesn't look oh, like that. that. <laughs> you don't look like Tom Selleck. <laughs> I can see the guy going over here with Eric and Buster, they're just chilling. They know what the apocalypse holds for. Yeah, they're just like, Gary, bring it. Gary, are you channeling David Bowie in this picture? No, no he's, oh, no, no, no. I thought this was just from the album cover for Aladdin Sane. Yeah, we're moving more balanced cards. Oh, RSE. Oh, no, Always. For those of you who don't know, Chris loves to draw pictures of his fellow comic book creators. <laughs> so this is nice to see him drawing himself. They are very unflattering pictures that he draws of us. You should share. Is that Colin Bunny? <laughs> you have a minute. That looks like Captain Underpants. It's <laughs> I think our famous MC is making a cameo. I don't know, but I've been told. I think you get to spin the apocalypse with Chris Grime. <laughs> I'm out. I check out. Hold on a second. How many so this is sheer genius. Do you want to say anything about this before he goes, I'm sorry, he's here. Before we take it down, we only have 30 seconds, but we're going to recreate it. <laughs> Let's let our timer run out. You guys have 20 seconds. I am very impressed with how, I really am, this is not me being sarcastic, it's amazing that you guys can do this in three minutes. I mean, astonishing. <laughs> This is the, that's it. That's time, everyone. Time. Pins down. Kevin, would you come and take a picture? We're going to recreate Chris's drawing real quick. Drawing your thing. You got to face it. Yeah, let's do Finally, because nobody can bother me. Kind of. Kind of. Sort of. That's me, and I took that. <laughs> so this is just me 
mechanics in growing my Isaac Crumper <laughs> hair <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you are representing yourself as the apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm just going to roll with it. zombie apocalypse, so I am, of course, also dead. Oh, very nice. <laughs> it is exactly, but I don't see myself making it unless I start exercising more. <laughs> One last challenge before we give these out. One last three minute challenge. So let's reset. <laughs> How strong of myself and illustrated by Bob Baldemar Rivas. In Unearth, a group of scientists enters a cave system and discovers mutant horrors. I would like each of you to imagine what, if you went spelunking in a terrifying cave, what would you find? And your time starts now. How long is this one? Three minutes. Interestingly enough, copies of Unearth are available in the <laughs> artist section of Library Con. Wow. No shame. No, but you're about to find out. <laughs> are you drawing me too? Listen. <laughs> You, you did this to yourself. Well, if you're drawing me, the more handsome I look, the better you will do in this competition. <laughs> Kyle, you're out. <laughs> so, since this is our last one, anyone have any questions for our amazing artists? Any last questions about their process? About why they have to draw me? <laughs> We have pictures of that one, too. <laughs> we got a question over here. <laughs> I believe his name is Chris. I want to know what the, the thought bubble said or whatever it was. Oh, of the drawing of the apocalypse? It says, draw the end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> So I see a uh, kind of a cathartic theme here, Chris, in your drawings toward the end. This is a pressure release. That's what it gets for getting. <laughs> you all have a minute left. We have another glorious interpretation over here. You know, there are, I see it. There are two other NCs that you could be drawing. Cullen's precious drawings. <laughs> Oh, we got a question over here. Yet again, I look like Captain Underpants. <laughs> we don't want to tell you, but... All right, hey, Colin, we got a question over here. All right. Uh, so, before you all got established in the art world, because I'm assuming you all wanted to do art for a living, what were all of your day jobs? Oh, that's a good question. Great question. That is great. Start with the young ones. Yeah, start with the young ones. <laughs> I'm not established. I work at Sam's. <laughs> and since that's such a great question where you get a little extra time if you need it. I was somewhat more established before I started a day job, but now I work at the library. Yeah. There's some good shameless promotion right there. <laughs> what was your day job? Uh, I used to be a guard in a museum. Uh, did, the, did the phones come to life at night? No, that was Oh. <laughs> uh, I, I still have a day job, and I work at the utility company here in town, so. All right. So go. if your lights are, I'll call Adam. Yeah. <laughs> can, you, can, you, can you get my bill reduced? If I can get mine, if, once I get mine reduced, I'll let you. Okay, cool. Uh, I used to work in gaming for a while, then I worked as a creative coordinator for a real estate company. No, I mean, like, before that. 
Well, before that, <laughs> zoo. Zoo. Nice. I used to work construction, uh, all kinds of interior construction. That's about it before I got established. Nice. I used to be a valet. Pretty good college job. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say I was pretty good valet. <laughs> I was the best. I drew a lot. <laughs> In high school, I made sandwiches at Togo's Eatery, and uh, while I was in art school during the summers, I uh, did paste-ups for a real estate <laughs> magazine. Uh, that, that's about it. All right. Uh, uh, motion graphics, animation, video editing. That's I still do that as my day job. So, so in other words, you make your own home movies. What's that? You made your own home movies when you were a kid. I, I have. And I, yeah, and I animated it against your own animation. Well, my first job was as a caricature artist at Worlds of Fun, which that was a lot of fun. And I work at Hallmark now during the day. Before this, I was a greeting card artist, and I drew happy bunnies all day. I think that's where I was broken. <laughs> all right, so that is officially time. We'll go real quick through these, and then we'll wrap up. Let's hear about what the... Why would you imagine finding this thing in a cave? It's you. No, it's not you. <laughs> You're no longer my favorite. <laughs> well, this is just like a, a creature. I think it'd be fun. Fun to meet that? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I didn't finish one. <laughs> Kyle, tell us about your drawing. It's got a cool oh. attitude. Uh, it's, a, it's a creature. It wants you to read. It's, uh, it thinks a lot of itself. Um, that's not Positive attitude gets you through a lot. That's true. All I can think was like a, like, like chunk from the Goomies and just kind of went further from that. So. Gary? I just uh, pictured walking through a cave in the dark and then touching this wet looking monster and just being like, oh my god, and by the time you say, oh my god, your arm's gone. Javier yeah. <laughs> didn't draw one? Yeah. <laughs> I just took advantage of getting him back to teasing me all day. Yeah. And he always reminds me of a grown up Bobby from King of the Hill. <laughs>
And with, with that in mind, I'm pleased to announce that for the second year in a row, oh, no. I have won the Lottery Con Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'm sorry, but you all lost to me. All right, so how are we doing this? Jesse, you're handling this part? Okay. Okay. Around the room, next to each artist's station, we are taping a sheet of paper with winning ticket numbers on it. So I'm going to start reading the numbers off in just a second. Up here on the stage, each artist has made a pile of their work, right? So, so if you have one of those winning ticket numbers, please come up here and select whichever artist's work you want. Okay, we're going to start up here with Chris Grimes. So get your tickets out. I've got number 311-6425. Come on down! 311 311-6472. 311-6476. 311-6480. And this, this might take just a little while, so I don't want to keep I don't want to keep everybody here in the room any longer than we absolutely have to. So let's give our let's give our artists and our hosts another round of applause. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move over to Buster Moody's work. It looks like every ticket starts off with three Rome ones, so I'm not gonna read that. So we're gonna move to six four seven three, six four eight four, six three nine two, six five oh five. Buster Moody, right up here. <laughs> six four three five. Six three nine zero. 